Uh, well, his name is uh, Albert Rothstein, um, and he is one of the new recruits to the Justice Society. Um, his superpowers, I don't know if you'd be interested in knowing, but his superpowers are he can modify his molecular structure um, at will. Um, he controls the density of his body and his bones, essentially, so he can get bigger and he can get heavier and stronger and faster. He sits there and he just locks in. Um, he's got the entire film in his head, the entire film. Every single shot um, is in his head. He knows exactly what he wants. Um, and he's funny too. I mean, the, 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 the levity on this set, despite the stress that I'm sure everyone is under, um, like I said, it just makes you feel comfortable. Um, there's never a moment in the day that I can't go up to Jama and just like, like go to hold his hand as a joke where he won't just like take my hand and like continue working. Like, like nothing, like he's not in charge of a massive film, you know, like. It's incredible to meet someone that you've watched for almost your entire life. That moment uh, is, we all imagine it. I think we always think like, what if I met this person that I've looked up to or that I've followed or whatever. Um, and they, all, they often say you don't want to meet your idols or your heroes. And in the case of Dwayne, that it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, from the first day he showed up, he's been gracious, and he's been professional. Um, he he knows this script backwards and forwards. Like these, this is his film, not just because he's The Rock, but because he found it. He was the one who wanted to make it. He's been developing it for over a decade, right? With Seven Bucks and um, and both Bo, Bo's company, they have been they've been developing this for so long. And it shows because he's on set. He knows almost everyone's lines. He knows every scene in order chronologically. And he can sit there and talk and rewrite the entire thing from a producerial, from an acting and from a writing perspective, even from direct. Like he he is so good at what he does. And it, it, he, it just makes sense as to why he is one of the biggest names on this planet. Um, and then beyond the professionalism, he's just kind and funny. And he doesn't shy away from conversation. You know, sometimes you meet people of, of that scale and that caliber of fame or success, and they just don't really have time, right? And yet he still f finds time to make conversation with you and listen to you and joke with you. Um, so what is it like working with DJ? It's been um, one a learning experience and a very fun one at that, I mean, to say the least. <laughs> I love my suit. I think, I, think, I think my suit is like the coolest suit of the groups. And I'm not just saying that. Like, if someone else had a cooler suit, I would say it. They don't.